These are my tools for making great PS2 tutorials. Let's do this. Hey guys, this is Versatile from Project Phoenix Media. We got a really quick PS2 tutorial today, and this is related to the Fortuna project and steps you can take to make sure that you don't accidentally lose access to your Fortuna project file. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So let's say that you go into your browser and you go into your memory card, and this is my 9K you know, series PS2 Slim, and I go back and I go back and I go to my ulaunch elf. And rather than go to elf files directly, navigating the memory card structure, what I like to do is make shortcuts. So here in this particular example, I have L1 mapped to ESR and R1 mapped to OPL. So I press R1 right now, it goes to OPL. That's pretty cool, right? Well, in my limited testing, I figured out there are times that by doing these kind of shortcuts, it's gonna make these setting file updates, basically, on your memory card. And when you do that, it may also change your date code from the 2044 date to like present day. And by doing so, you could accidentally lose access to, to, to your uh, Fortuna project files and also to your memory card, um, the exploit rather. And then you gotta reinstall it all over again. Well, you're in bad luck and let's say you bought a memory card or something and you happen to have the Fortuna project files on there and then you lost access to it and you don't have the tools to put it back on, well, you're sort of screwed. Well, I figured out there's a way to fix that and the, the trick is, is this basically. On your root of your memory card, you wanna have a folder called sys-conf, all capital letters, right? Inside this folder, primarily you want to have this icon.sys and the sysconf.icn. And I have a link in the video description where you can download this zip file, extract it to a USB thumb drive, and copy those files over. On my particular screen here, there's a bunch of other stuff, only because my memory card, I like to put Fortuna Project and Free McBoot on the same memory card because I use more than one PS2 and test around with different exploits. So if I go to my USB thumb drive here, here's my sys-conf, and I have those files here. I just happen to have a free big boot file, so you can ignore that. Like I said, it's used for one of my installation um, procedures. But nonetheless, I will have a link in the video description where you download this folder, unzip it as is into your thumb drive, plug the thumb drive into your PS2, and then what you do is you go R1, copy, and then go to your memory card, R1, paste, paste all that stuff over, and then, and then you're good to go. You don't have to worry about, oh, I did a change and I lost my timestamp and now I'm screwed, I lost access to Fortuna Project. Yeah, what am I gonna do? Well, by doing what I just showed you right now today, that will eliminate that worry and you'll always have the Fortuna Project and you'll be good to go. And if something were to happen, heaven forbid, hopefully you have the tools to put the Fortuna Project back in your memory card. If you're in a scenario where you don't have those tools, then as soon as you have your memory card working with Fortuna Project, just do what this video just outlined today and you're good to go. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care, bye.